Today, let's talk about equations. Don't worry, this is not going to be any complex mathematical equation or theorem. It's just four to five simple steps. But before that, let's see what the equation is. Equation is a statement which shows two quantities are equal. For example, this equation a plus b bracket square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab. Both sides are equal. I mean, if you put any value of a and b, then a plus b square will give you the same value as a square plus b square plus 2ab. There are some rules that the equation follows. If you change one side of the equation, then you have to do the same thing with the other side too, to maintain the validity of that equation. I mean, if you add something to one side of the equation, then you have to add the same in other side so that that equation still remains valid. You can add, subtract or multiply or divide by anything, but make sure that you do the same in both sides of the equation. Now we know what is equation and the rules. Pretty simple, right? But sometimes when everything looks fine, Reality reveals something different. You will know what I mean in a moment. Now we are ready to go ahead. Grab a pen and paper if you want so that you can follow me along. Let's start with a simple, very simple equation. A equals B. If A equals 2, B also equals 2. Or A equals 4, B is also 4 and so on. Let's multiply both sides with B. So we have a into b equals b square. Now we add b square on both sides. So left side we have a b plus b square, which is equal to b square plus b square or 2b square. Third step, we subtract 2ab from both sides. And here we have ab minus 2ab that is minus ab so we write left side as b square minus ab that's equal to 2b square minus 2ab if we take two common here it's 2 in bracket b square minus ab and as i told you it's not going to take forever so the last step we divide both sides by b square minus ab and we're left with 1 equals 2. We started with a equals b and ended up having result 1 equals 2. Something is not adding up. If you want, pause this video right here and have a look at all the steps. There is something wrong. Everything is fine and valid as per the rules except this last step where we divided both sides with b square minus ab and a equals b as per our initial assumption so actually we divided by zero dividing both sides of the equation is only valid if the divisor that is the term by which we divide something is not equal to zero if that term is equal to zero then we are dividing by zero and that does not make any sense it is either infinity or indeterminate and it leads to such absurd results. If a and b are equal, then this result is actually 1 into 0 and 2 into 0. Anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So it is in fact 0 equals 0 and which is true of course. You can replace 1 and 2 with any figures and then if you divide by zeros, you can prove anything and which is not true. So it's time to refine the previous rules. You can divide both sides of the equation by anything, but first make sure that it is not a zero. Hit like button if you find this interesting and subscribe and press the bell so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.